Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colad Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. The family of a mid-Michigan mother of two who has been in the hospital for weeks is now in need of financial help due to bills piling up. Zach Lueski says his wife, Rachel, spent nearly three weeks at Covenant Hospital since her October diagnosis. The 29-year-old is on a ventilator and barely able to speak. While she slowly recovers, Zach hasn't been able to work since he's solely taking care of their children. If you'd like to help the family out, you can find the family's GoFundMe page in the hot link section of the TV5 homepage. And it is Veterans Day and celebrations are happening across mid-Michigan today. There's a Veterans Day ceremony. It's at the Saginaw County Veterans Memorial Plaza. That's in Hoyt Park. Organizers say the event is open to the public. It begins at 11 a.m. And a student parade is happening today in Bay City. Students of Emanuel Lutheran School will be marching from Lincoln to Center Avenue, carrying signs and flags to honor our heroes. Students plan to leave the church at 10 a.m. Now here's Chris with a look at your forecast. Another glad cool day ahead of us for today. Temperatures right around the mid 40s later this afternoon. Significantly cooler than where we have been recently. As much as 25 to even 30 degrees cooler than we were at this time yesterday. As far as your hour by hour forecast is concerned, the rain is gone. Not expecting to deal with that as we work through the rest of the day. And skies should be uh, increasing with amounts of sunshine as the day goes along. And clear skies will last through much of the evening too. And that sets us up for a beautiful Thursday ahead. We are keeping an eye on the possibility of a few showers on Friday, not ready to add them to your forecast just yet. Still think they'll be fighting an uphill battle as they move in. Thanks to the beautiful day we'll have on Thursday. The air mass just going to dry out quite a bit. So the question is whether we'll have enough moisture for showers or just a little extra cloud cover that remains to be seen. But even if the showers do develop, the rest of your Friday looks dry after the morning hours. I think it will be a very minor chance of anything. And then Saturday looks like a dry day for the most part until showers return late Saturday evening into early Sunday. Sunday looking like a day with intermittent showers. So if you are headed out to the woods for opening day of the firearm season, well, you might have a few showers to contend with from time to time. Your seven day forecast looks dry through the rest of the work week before rain chances return late Saturday night through the weekend and then Monday, a chance for some lake effect showers that could feature a little snow. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.